All right, you have Andy here at the Lake Bowl for the uh, first ever the Lake Mixed Doubles Finals. This is our stepladder final. Our first match, uh, Baker match, will be Brandon Melton and Mike Winklefleck Jr. versus Sammy and Kevin Moore. I'll say one game. <laughs> Brando leaves a uh, one two eight on uh, lane number one. Yeah, I bet. If anybody's gonna look bad on TV, guys. Pretty good. Fair. Yeah. We have 18 entries here at the Heat's Doubles at the always challenging delay poll. Uh, James Hilton, Hollywood 900, did a great job promoting the event, get some folks out here to bowl. Sammy Morris up on lane. Nine count, five, ten. Excellent shot. For those of you who've never watched a tournament from Delay Bowl, it is a unique bowling experience that requires throwback equipment and old school gear. You can't throw your $300 resin ball here. Uh, this is a step ladder final. This is our four and five seeds. Sammy misses the five. And ouch. Now, Kevin Moore up on lane one. Also qualifying today were uh, St uh, Stacy Gilman and Mike Danielson, Steve Moore and Vanessa Chenoweth, and our top seed, Lori Hankin and Jake Clemson. Seven. Kai okay, lose a four pin. Not uncommon here at the lake. To tell you the, the toughest of these scores on your normal scratch tournament is a, is a plus minus of 200. Just to make the field for the money here is a minus 396. So basically about a 162 average. Kevin for his score. Pretty good. So even though it's a championship pair, they, they, they hire a team that's got to warm up someone. So lane number seven is on. And when the next match, the winner of that match, will get two shots each. Sure, we have more team with the next team. Mike Michael Fletcher up on lane number two. He says, oh no, he missed the head a 1-2-4. They were the number four seeds at minus 388, while Morris and Morris were the five seeds at minus 396. Actually, we had that kind of back. Oh, that's right. Oh no, he missed it. But they're off the sitting for. Give the camera a little lift here, so I better view the lane. There we go. Signals. He's a 10 pin. Brooklyn is uh, the preferred side at the lake. The prior Leo and his assistant Dale did a great job hosting our, the event this weekend. Brenda down. No. Leaving the 10 pin is almost a death now here. Hard to cover it because the lanes are so dry. As you see, the bowlers are all using plastic equipment or very weak reactive here. Some cases they're even using rubber or urethane. Sammy Morris up on lane two. Is it a good heave? Light hit, lose a three pin. Not bad. 
In the background you hear uh, warming up Stacey Bowman and Mike Daniels on my inside to get ready. They get the winner of the next match. Pretty good, falls away, but I was and I missed it. It's the first one I've missed <laughs> One of the unique features about the late fall is uh, the, the gutter caps run all the way back to the ball returns. They don't go underground completely. So you have a, a capping to get in your way, so you can't get really far left. Makes it ch ch challenging. Kevin Morris up on one. Right now, uh, working on a stair. Left-hander. High six pin, not bad. At 47 in the third with a spare up, and like a Nolten at 33. Lake Bowl has 125 entries already set up for it, so make sure you get out and check that out. It's an experience like nothing else. Brenda, going left. Yes, the five. Right? She smiles and okay. strike here is a heck of a number. So. Just to give you an idea, you know, Kevin Morris averages about 230 at his home center at Mount Hood Lanes, and here he is doing cartwheels at his 200. Sammy up on two. Run up. He's a 3 9, not difficult. Open challenge here. Uh, first, the last team to open get the get the prize, and that was uh, Sarah Nix going for 50 bucks. Sammy, no, he misses the 3-9. And then there was a high Baker game, uh, which we could get the bucks for that one. Steve Hunt, the Channel West for the 204 game. Yes, 204 paid the high game. Mike and Brenda got a double. Kevin has an open here, so it's really tight now. Once again, this is a one-game match. Kevin looking pretty good. And wow. I don't know what that was. It was a 10 pin. Bad break. Good great shot. Kevin's got three good shots and three singles. That's mad and now driving nuts. Trying to keep this momentum going. And we'll get another strike here for the back in the lead. Okay. Mike leaves a two pin. He's been terrible. 
And right now they're only down three, but they have six up, so technically they're up nine. on the outside that is a now a 91 in the six 90 in the six so not excess at all these lanes were built in 1939 and you know, just eight lanes so not much here they were the according to the prior leo the last time there was a four shot was 1946 3-9 for Brenda. So yeah, it's difficult to roll here. Most folks will see about a 40 pin drop in there after when they come in. Remember how easy it was. Dollars in beer. Start drinking now. <laughs> Sammy up on to seventh grade. Looks pretty good. Five, three ten baby split. experience with the lake make sure you check out the lake open two and three on uh, YouTube they're excellent videos get more stuff on one honestly didn't like it two four seven three pin combination
tucks it. Six count. Not the easiest thing in the world to cover. gets to eight off. So at after nine, one thirty one thirty two for Morris for the Morris, for the Morris is one away for the strike up. It's everybody's game. Yes. Right now they cannot shut out with the out with the turkey out that would give uh, Morris the Morris is a one sixty two game. Mike went to collect and turn them off. Mike's looks like at the first two in the tenth and good count. They would win. So let's see what happens. Oh my goodness gracious, pocket 7-9, that is abysmal. How does that happen? <laughs> Gavin says, welcome to D-Lake, that is absolutely the truth. What a brutal beat. Well, it's not over yet, but it's not looking great. It's going to force... Uh, of course, Mike will have to get a mark, which has been a tall task for him over the last couple of times. Of course, there is always a possibility that he can mark it. Good try. Good try. 141 for Kevin Morris and Sammy Morris. And let's just set the stage here. Mike, Mike. Any mark. Any mark will do it. Real quick to move the camera over. Seven. All you need. Don't be no spare game, Wink. No spare. Get out of here. I'm all for Oregon winning, but I'm really glad it's my practice. This 155 to 141, Mike McFudd Jr. and, and Brandon Elton. Alright guys, you guys are going on being more live. Stacey Goldman. Please hold, we're changing the camera. Alright, we are back for match number two. Mike Winkle for June and Brenda Melton against Mike Danielson and Stacey Bowman. Won the game Baker match. This is the second step ladder match. Winner will advance to face two seeds, Steve Moore and Vanessa Chenoweth. Brenda goes way left, who's a 136. Incidentally, this is the only match featuring two delayed champions. Uh, Mike won the inaugural delay open singles in 2013. Stacy won the ladies of the lake this past October. And uh, two out, seven two for the first frame, nine count. Leaves the head down. There you go. The only other champions of the, of the lake were Mike Hansen, who won last year, and uh, Corey Houston, both did not attend this double event. Six hands there. up for her 
first here on three and four. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Once again, this is a common occurrence for the whole book. Bears are an adventure. My pick is in. There's a five, call it five ten. Not only is he uh, original Delake Open champion, he is also a uh, multi-time PBA regional champion. I want to say three different times he's won a PBA regional. Our uh, fifth place finisher is Sammy Morris for two hundred and fifty dollars, one hundred and twenty-five bucks each. Mike for his spare. Get the knife in. Let's see if Mike went up to your head to shake off those wounds of those spares in the last one. Get back to focus. Six points. Make a little spare. Joy, because he covers the single pin. <laughs> spare, spare us. So one pin lead for Melton and one quest. Makeable spare. 
basics though, easy to chop, especially on these torched dry laying for those of you who've never seen a lamb machine here, a lamb machine is a mop. They pour oil into a, into a mop head and push it down the lane. It only goes to just barely past the arrows, about four or five feet past the arrows. And that's it. Everything else is straight up. Chop the three six. How it
back. Mike Danielson up on three. We'll try to keep it smooth this morning. Very light. He's, he's found some more carry down on this pair.
looks better. Now, it's a good count for setting the mark. Winkle Punt had the mark in the tenth to get beat Morris and Morris. Can you do it again to beat, beat Daniel Sanzoma? I was so nervous. I was like, I don't know, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just like, You need a mark. My like, why'd you remind me? <laughs> no pressure. Mike. Mike has had his adventures today. Um, All right, Mike, wind it up. He needs a mark. Out there. Okay, this is how we do it. That's a tough, tough spare. Okay. Yeah. At least this one you got your head pin. You left the last couple times you left some left the head pin, so you got to back a little bit. It's figuring out how you gonna tackle this. You gotta cover it and have a chance. Analyzing the angle. Figure out where he's at. Winds yes. up. Yes. Yes. Okay. Now it's not over yet. Not over yet. Still have to have six pins. Six pins. Six to tie, seven to win. And once again, this place is an adventure. Six pins is not a guarantee. Most, 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 most places, six would be close your eyes and you're fine, but at the lake, six is it's not easy. <laughs> give a little spit shine there, get a little extra on it. Need seven. He got it. No, six is a tie. Holy lordy. That really just happened. Tied. We're going to do another game. I, I, mean, I think we should do the whole game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to tie. What do you think? What's the vote here? This is my first double. Ninth and tenth roll off. Two frame roll off. Two frame roll off. There you go, buddy. Ninth and tenth. Base start. Base start. Ninth and tenth. He's going to do it right here. Just go ahead for a start. Yeah. Yep. Ninth and tenth. Mike's like, how does that happen? <laughs> Two frames. <laughs> Two frame. Two frame roll on. Robert's gonna take this. Don't worry about it. Just go. Same lanes. It won't change your lanes, so they'll do a nice and tenth roll. Nice and tenth. Bonus bowling here at the Lake Bowl. I know. Wow, look at Mike and Joe. He's played it before. He's been there. He's <laughs> not his first rodeo. Oh, well. Brenda. Hi. Well, that's the winner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're going to Mike's going to update the scores so we have it right. He's taking your strike away. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so he raised the frame. Knowing what to do up there. there we go. He's going to correct him out. Right. So, there we go. Strike there. There we go. Okay. And then. Go ahead, Mark. I've almost done Mike's going to add the zeros to his board to, to Stacy's score so they can get get theirs going. There we go. Frank Crane. Bonus bowling.
Casey. Seven Let's see. I don't doubt his ability one bit. Okay. He says he's making this. <laughs> that would be unbelievable if he could pull that off. Good try, Mike. Good try. So they finish with 18. That's pretty much going to be the end right there. If Mike can just get four pins, he'll be okay. Four pins? Four pins. Uh, five, 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 pins. five pins. Five pins. But I think he'll be okay. He got it. He got it. Right. It's all over. Fourth place will go to Mike Danielson and Stacey Coleman. They get 150 bucks. Let's get going. Okay. Winner of that, we're going to go ahead, go ahead and throw over to finish. five and six. Mike Winklefleck and Brandon Melton. Vanessa up on six. Seven ten. Vanessa's from Eugene. Steve's from Salem. He was a runner up here from the 2014 with the foul third round in the world. Mike winding up. 
high, takes out the six pin, and actually makes that a little worse. Leaves the baby split three pin. Last time the Hispanic was. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it. I don't want to start anything. My voice failed. Covers 310. So far in this tournament, it's been a lot of fishermen and Washingtonians winning this, winning at the lake. We have 2013 champ Daniels and 2014 champ. Houston, and then 2015 champ Mike Hansen, and then the ladies champ uh, Stacey Bowman from uh, Fort Oregon. Steve Mora up on five. Gonna wind it up. Watch out, folks. Tug. So seven count. One, three, six. Stacey's been having some little footwork all day long, but the approach has been very slippery. Losers of this match will get uh, $400, $200 each. Steve, it is track and forcer. It's the spare, 136 cover. From Eugene, Oregon, back up here with her motive tank girl, European ball. She's been stellar all day long, very consistent. Side go one, two, four, eight. Makeable spare, but difficult for the multi pin combination. So he's going to make a tape change, looks like, on his, uh, on his ball. Cool. And that's for her spare. That's big. Three spares. Spares, consecutive spares here are not the easiest thing in the world. As you've seen in the, the first two matches, just getting hit into the pocket is tough. And we're about to hit seven and eight, which is widely known as the most difficult pair in this house. Brenda on five. Big time, beautiful shot at the pink ball. The breast cancer awareness ball is kicking some butt today. Mike Wink, up on, up on six. I and another 310. You got it once before, and do it again. Totally terrible. You got to get down on the first ball, so now Steve up on five. Gonna try to erase that, make that adjustment from that seven count in the first ball. Now the highly polished ball, the European, way right. I'm gonna try to bank off that outside edge. Big shot. Wow. His power game, he can really hold it up here. This team was affectionately known as Team Pretty in the pre-event uh, pre uh, trash talking. So we'll see how they come out. And that's a lineup. 
Four, four pins, not bad. Great shot. That's five frames, pretty clean so far. That's, uh, that's solid. Girl. Vanessa, Vanessa gets for Sarah now. We're into Melton with the magic pink ball. I'm going to try to keep this run going. Now, the light is a 2 4 5. So right now, fourth frame after four, you have 56 for Melton and Winkleblack, and 73 for Mora and Chenoweth. They already have a spare up. Let's see what Brenda can do here to even the score. It's pretty good. Spare up, so 17 10 lead for Mora and Chenoweth after five frames. When they come to the lake, there's nothing like it. The ambiance, the, the age is just awesome. Mike Wink. Sixth frame, going left. Five nine. It's makeable spare again, although we've seen. No, I don't have to reiterate it again. It's always too challenging. See the idea that I think there was a total of nine two hundred fold all day. He had thirty six bowlers bowling, eight singles there, four singles in deep, and four baker games, and he had nine two hundred. How hard that was. Mike Wink covers his spare. Steve Moore up on six, up on lane five. So a humongous strike last game. He's blocking our view, so we can't really see the pins, but he's smashing it all day. Huge, huge strike for Steve. It's been at 93 in the sixth, or the fifth with a strike up versus 74 in the 6th with a spare up. So, the night extends early to 19 points. Seven. 
Like a fucking mountain that things are I only have two opens out of eight things so far. <laughs> Just get the five pin. Just by a nose. <laughs> Z. <laughs> We call that skin jeans. Are you getting ready? Track enforcer. He's a track staff player for the Northwest. Rings up and delivers. Beautiful shot, three strikes in the room. And right now, that's pretty much putting the hammer down on this thing. Challenge up on the ninth thing, working on three strikes in a row. So I turn out New Year's to get to start to loosen up a little bit. Jake Clinton and Lori Hankin. Seven, ten, good, good ball, good ball. Great shot. Ends the streak at three before they have a huge lead so far. And a 40 pin lead in the, uh, in the eighth and the seventh round. Still 180 in the ninth frame. And right now, the best that uh, one like a melt can do is 192, so basically it's almost, almost over. Uh, right for the pink power ball game. Teammates get the first piece. Got to gotta have the first two. Got to have the first two. Have a chance. If you get all of them. First two, or it's all over. Great. Tenth frame holder right here. Strike. Even not a, not a nine here for Steve to get one pin. So if he doesn't strike here, then Steve has a pretty much an easy path to make it. That was pretty good. Oh, humongous! Now Steve's gonna go ahead and have a ball.
Back here with the final match of the delay commits doubles. Brandon Melton and Mike Winkle Jr. against the top seed Lori Hankin and Jake Clemson. Brandon's up on next set in a 2 4 5 spare. This is our three unbelievably close matches. All three games they made an attempt to over or further. They had, they had bonus bowling in the second match, they won the same thing both the other two, so. What a surprise so far. Our five seats facing our one seat. Brenda. Leaves one. Gets the four pin off. Now this is different. All day the ladies have been going on the, on the first position. Now this is this is Jake. Jake comes on lane eight. He's gonna go in the first hole in the first spot. Yeah, 191, 188 was the final match the last one. Jake Clumps, a million year old hammer red here thing. Also gets a 2 4 five. He declares that is the best ball ever made. He's saying he's got thousands of games on it. He and, uh, he and Lori were the top seeds at minus 326. Uh, 181 average or so. Very spare. And there's a 245. Excellent cover. Now, uh, National Collegiate Champion Lori Hinkin. On lane center, she won that title uh, in 2014, I believe.
Demon and Miss Nine Pin. <laughs> Good looking shot. Right through the heart. So after four, it's 48 and a third. Four, Hank and then Clemson, 37 and a third. Like a We've seen this before. They, they'll, they'll come from here. They always have. Mike winds up. Five count. Five pins, the half rack. He uh, nearly left this earlier, but he took one pin out to get himself into bonus bowling. They were looking too long. So this is the two, four, five, seven, eight. Brenda up on lane seven. Looks pretty good. Two, four, five again. This is becoming a popular lead here, two, four, five. <laughs> Seven's very bad right now. Nope. Coming across. No. Trips, chops up the five, lose the two, four, seven, two, nine, seven, two, nine, seven, one. So, shooting up on eight, and then trying to keep himself in his team lead by throwing a big double hand at the front. Okay. Oh, hi, lose to 610. It's a makeable spare, though.
Yeah. Yeah. Got triple four six. Sorry, triple, triple four seven. That gives them a double and a chance to get back in this. Shake's been light, light, high. I haven't really flushed the pocket yet on this pair. He's an excellent, excellent talent more. He'll be able to make that adjustment. I lose three six. Not terrible. That million year old ball of his. Alright, Lori on lane seven. Try to throw, put the hammer down here. That looks pretty good. Beautiful shot. What a great shot. Strike here and they are right back on this. Frame. High. Baby split. Again, that's his fourth time daily in that. So he's gonna run over and get his spare ball and try to cover this. Big deal here. Right now, the spare they're down 15. One, two frames to go. Open here to the disasters. Nine. In the eighth frame, 118. That's about 35, uh, tw uh, 25 feet for Clemson and, uh, and Hank. Mike knows he made a mistake. Try to get it close. Six Could have carried, just barely missed.
Look at that. Beautiful shot. Money. Right now, through the hollow eye. That's that skill right there, and that is your champion. It's all over. That's why she's the anchor. <laughs> Jake says that's why she's the anchor. All that, all that skill, she went three in a row. What a great job. There's a Lake Mixed Doubles Champions, Jake Clemson and Lori Hankin, win the title. We're going to finish up here, we'll get the final score. Brenda Melton and Mike McClellan Jr. will finish in second place, getting $300 each. Seven count. That's all she needs, 168. She's at 170 right now, it's all over. Mike's going to finish up. I had already got $50 off my D-Link entry. I was going to get $50 off D-Link. I'm going to do that. I'm going to and also, also Jake and Lori earned uh, free entries into the uh, fourth annual Delay Open August 5th, 6th, and 7th. One seventy-one. That's your winner, Mike. Jake Clemson. And Mike caves the four-six on his on, on his fill ball on his first strike. We'll see if he can finish it up here. Make it supposed to be. Uh, your champions, uh, Jay Clemson and Lori Hankin. Also, we want to thank Leo for, running, for hosting the tournament for us. Always fun. Dale for all the work he does. And of course, James Hilton, Hollywood 900, who just puts his heart and soul into running this tournament. And I know the boys appreciate it. Mike loses a 4, a 6, 7, 10. He'll finish in second place with a 1 in 50 something game. One fifty seven to one seventy one. Congratulations, Lori Hankin and Jake Clemson. You are your two thousand sixteen the Lake Mixed Doubles champions. We will see everybody at the Lake Open, fourth annual Lake Open, August fifth, sixth, and seventh. Have a good day, everybody.